Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is the five week pregnancy vlog. So we're actually picking up straight from where we left off in the last video in the car on the way to the doctor and I explain everything in the first clip so we'll jump straight in I hope you enjoy and if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more thank you bye bye so we are five weeks pregnant so no more risk of a chemical pregnancy obviously you've still got all your other hundreds of risks that come with pregnancy but it's like the first milestone so that feels exciting. I have actually had some spotting the last two days, really light spotting, mainly just when I wipe, um, but it has got a bit heavier today. So I rang the doctors up this morning and I did also mention the shoulder pain I have been having, more of a shoulder ache. And she decided she wanted to see me straight away and she said she'll probably refer me to gynae. Natalie was going to be having his music class in like half an hour so I'm hoping it's going to be a really quick appointment and I can rush to get Marley to music class but I don't think that's going to happen. I did ask, I was like is there not any way we can do it half an hour earlier, an hour later and she was like no this is really important, we need to see you. Um, it is what it is. They did say I won't really be able to take Marley. I was like that's not an option Jordan is at work he can't get time off work so unless they're willing to wait until like half four and even still he'd be coming to the hospital with me he's breastfed I, god forbid if I end up there for like hours and hours I can't leave Marley with no food so yeah heading to the doctors I'm I know they can't rule the big fear is ectopic pregnancy that's what they're hinting at um, and the doctors can't rule that out. I just have to go to the doctors for them to refer me to the early pregnancy unit or gynaecology, I'm not quite sure which. I don't know whether they'll scan me with me been only five weeks. Well, technically, I am nearly six weeks. According to my last period, I'm five weeks and five days, but I know that I ovulate on cycle day 21. But they don't take that into consideration they only take into consideration the day of your last missed period so they might scan me i don't think they will i think they'll just want to do blood tests which the thought of having to go spend hours in hospital and miss marley's classes and stuff just to have a blood test is really frustrating but i know we got to do it best to get checked because god forbid if it was an ectopic pregnancy that is really dangerous um i really hope it isn't i hope this spotting's just a bit of spotting and nothing more to it and it isn't gonna become anything i am nervous oh i hate the first trimester i was really lucky with marley and i barely had any symptoms but the anxiety i felt of the thought of losing him Oh, I'd rather have the worst morning sickness in the world than the anxiety. It's awful. But yeah, going to the doctors now. I'll let you know what they say and probably end up taking you with me to the hospital. I'll let you know. So it's actually been a couple of days. So I thought I'd do a bit of a story time of kind of what happened. Last we spoke, I was on my way to the doctors. So they were concerned I had shoulder pain, I had a little bit of spotting, um, and they were worried it could be an ectopic pregnancy. So when I got to the doctors, they did all my obs, and um, when they did my pulse, it was actually really high. She sort of said to me, she was like, are you nervous, are you stressed, while she was doing it? And I was like, oh no, but don't worry, my pulse is always really high. It normally sits about 90 to 100 anyway. And she looked at me and she was like, it's 114. And I was like, oh, that is quite high. So she basically said, 
said that she wanted me to get somebody who could take me to the hospital or she was going to ring an ambulance which still does seem a little bit dramatic to me but I suppose she was worried if it was next topic um, and I think high pulse can be a sign of next topic as well if it was next topic and my tube burst on the way to the hospital you know I'd be driving I'd be stuck and so luckily my mum was able to take me she was a lifesaver and um, so we headed to the hospital she wanted me to go just straight to A&E which I was a bit annoyed about because everyone knows what the wait time in A&E is like so I went to A&E um, got seen I think by this point my pulse was coming down a little bit anyway so that was less of a concern I'm sorry you're bouncing all over the spot so I went to A&E they took my bloods and we were set in A&E a couple of hours waiting they actually locked me in by accident they locked me in a room and I was stuck and my mum had Marley and I was like oh my god my baby he needs feeding um, but it was fine it was like five minutes and they also did an ECG on me which I did tell them I'd already had one when I was in labour with Marley because of my high pulse which came back all clear again so they came and brought me down to the like surgical assessment unit um, we were waiting there hours again with Marley and he was really tired at that point but he did amazing, bless him. So from there, when there was a doctor from the gynaecology unit, he came and saw me. And he said that my HCG levels were 300. The range for five weeks pregnant is like 17 and 17,000. So it's quite a big variety of levels from a little bit of research i've done 300 isn't great um, but the main thing is that it doubles and um, he also did an internal examination which was horrible but he said he wasn't concerned it was ectopic and that he wanted me to come back 48 hours later to repeat the hcg to make sure my levels are doubled and also for a scan i think probably too early for a scan to actually show anything but we shall see so that's where i'm going now i'm currently on my way to back to the hospital yesterday the bleeding got quite bad not as much as a period but not far from and it turned from brown to red so so i'm i'm nervous to say the least yeah, my mum's, it's my mum's birthday today and she's also working a night shift tonight so I've told her she's not allowed to come, she needs to chill and she's also off for lunch with her friends so just me and Marley so I'm hoping they don't mess me around and keep me there for too long I'm just hoping that my levels are more than 600 and that they can see a sack in the right place on the scan i think that's the best i can hope for to be honest at this stage the bleeding did die down a little bit this morning but it's still there i did also have really bad back pain and cramps last night so i really did think that i was going to miscarry and but then they kind of died off the bleeding turned more brown again oh it's just torture i feel like every single day there's something else like i keep going for him everything's fine this pregnancy's gonna go well we're gonna have a beautiful little baby and then i'm like oh my god i'm this isn't gonna happen like i'm gonna miscarry oh i just wish i could see what was gonna happen praying for a healthy baby hoping at least that it's not ectopic that's the update and um, hopefully we'll see i say we'll see a baby soon but at this stage i think it'll just be a gestational sack but yeah fingers crossed that we see something at least <laughs>
we just got back from the hospital now, just pulled up home. <sighs> I don't really have any answers. They did a scan and they could see a really small gestational sac. No yolk sac. So they've said it could just be really early. It could be an ectopic pregnancy still or it could be a miscarriage they've taken my bloods and i've just got to wait for them to give me a call back late this afternoon to let me know the results i don't really know how to feel i don't know what to make of it all really i obviously feel sad because i don't know if this is going to work out then there's also that little bit of me that's hopeful. Molly, you okay, baby? Anyway, Molly's just woke up now. So get inside, make us some lunch, try to stay busy. Wait for this phone call. <sighs> so, let me put you down before I even start. <sighs> so, have a breath. You, I say this every clip, but like, you're gonna have to excuse the way I look. I tried to have a bath, dipped my hair in the water, and Marley was like, no mum, I need you. We're not having a bath today. So, doctors called me back, and my HCG is 720. So, it's more than doubled. Last time it was 320, so I think they wanted it to be about 640. So it's 720, so that's really good. They're still low, but they're doubling, so that's the most important thing. But I'm bleeding like heavier. So I don't know what to think of it all. My head is yuck. Is that your bogies? So I don't know what to think of it all to be honest. My head is just all over the place. I feel dizzy. My pulse was 150 while I was there, so my pulse is still really high. I just feel faint and dizzy and ugh. and I'm like is that pregnancy is that a miscarriage is that an ectopic so she did say still could be ectopic so if I have any severe pain to go to A&E I just wish I knew I wish I knew what was going on A little bit to update you all on. I ended up back at the hospital a couple of days ago now as the bleeding got a little bit heavier. They did another HCG. Molly, get down cheeky boy. Good boy. So they did another blood test. I did think it was kind of over because it was quite a big bleed. But my HCG doubled again so that's good I think hey. oh no darling oh my gosh I can't believe you can already reach them cheeky chops can we move your ball pit so I did my HCG it's doubled so that's good I think I don't really know what's going on with the bleeding I am still bleeding I did have a look on my scan and I can't tell under the gestational sac there's like fluid like a long bit of fluid um, and i'm from the pictures i've looked at i have a feeling it could be a hematoma i think that's how you say it but i feel like they would have told me if it had been i don't think they would have not mentioned it when i went for the scan but you never know so I'm thinking it maybe could be that. Anyway, because my HCG is now quite high, they moved my scan forward a week to kind of get a better idea of what's going on. And also, because my HCG is nice and high, they hopefully should be able to see more on the scan. Symptoms this week. So week five symptoms, we're nearly at week six. Dreams. Oh my God, I forgot how insane and vivid dreams are when you're pregnant 
Like, I've just been having the most wild dreams about Jordan being some kind of creepy murderer. He murdered some old woman off Coronation Street. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's been interesting. I'm definitely starting to struggle a bit more during the day watching Marley, playing with Marley. I am exhausted by the end of it. I have to excuse my hair. My bubble was starting to really hurt. God, how messy does that look? Are you pulling mama's hair? Um, so yeah, tiredness has kicked in and this little guy doesn't make it any easier, do you? You hard work. Out of breath, I'm still really, really out of breath, especially if I run up the stairs or just talking. I haven't had any sickness yet, but I didn't really have much with Marley anyway. So, fingers crossed it stays like that. I have been having fairly bad headaches. They're like right behind my eyes. Oh, they have been pretty bad actually. I've noticed a little bit of heartburn on a night. Not bad, but a little bit lingering. What else has mummy had? I've been struggling to get comfy on a night now, like already. After I've eaten like a big meal, I am really bloated and I feel that feeling of where you can't lay on your belly. So that's been annoying. So I forgot like how hard it is to get comfy. You gonna go play? In bed when you've got a belly, even though I don't even have a belly yet. I've been feeling a bit irritated, especially with Jordan. Um, I've bit his head off a few times over simple things, which I was the same with Marley again. Still got all the symptoms from last week, like the bloating, tiredness. But yeah, for the most part, symptoms are pretty mild, nothing major. Scan is this Friday and I'll be six weeks exactly. So I'll add a little bump date clip here. And I think that's going to be it for the five weeks pregnant vlog. I'll see you again at six weeks and hopefully we might get to see little B. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notifications so you see the next video. Bye.